Hello, my name is Andrew. I am a composer and sound designer. Today I would like to show you the plugin Audio Gridder. With Audio Gridder it is possible to outsource processing power to another computer when using VST plugins or VST instruments. Let's take a look. It is normally sufficient to have installed the plugins that are processed via Audio Gridder only on the slave computer. On the slave computer, the audio gridder server has to be launched first. By default, the standard VST folders are scanned. It may happen that it is necessary to enter additional VST folders depending on the folder structure of the slave computer. By default, the standard VST folders are scanned. It may happen that it is necessary to enter additional VST folders into the settings depending on the folder structure of the slave computer. As soon as the server is running, we can establish a connection between the computers. We select the server and then we can click on the plus button to load an effect plugin. We have different categories to choose from. When clicking on the name, the plugin appears. The effect plugin is running on the slave computer, but is also visualized on the master computer. Now we have access to the plugin and can work with the parameters the plugin is offering. It is possible to control the plugin on the slave computer and on the master computer as well. As to my experience so far, it is more convenient, however, to control the plugin on the slave computer. It is perfectly possible to start several effect plugins one after another. We can also adjust the buffer size. One great thing about Audio Gridder is that it is possible to insert plugins from the slave computer also in the plugin chain of the master bus without having a feedback issue.
we can also use audio gridder to play instruments. We build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track and then we have the usual structure. We can add an instrument plugin like Contact for instance and then load some patches. The respective patches are routed to the respective MIDI channels. We can also adjust the latency in audio gridder. And then we can play the instruments and make recordings. I hope you have enjoyed my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.